Hey, whiskey fam, guys who drink bourbon once again. Uh, we're doing another video tonight just to give you guys another look at some of the other things that we have in the cabinet. These ones all actually come from Lewis's cabinet. So he brought them over so that we can share a little bit of Ambarana finished whiskeys. All right, so uh, we got three on the, the whiskey shelf tonight. We got New Lou's uh, Ambarana barrel. Uh, we got Fiddler's Ambarana Barrel, and we got Oak and Eden's Wheat and Spire with Ambarana Spire in it. Uh, this one's a unique one to us. We got this one uh, at On the Rocks in Fulton, Missouri. We brought it back with us. This one is a store pick from the Bourbon Finds. And this one right here was an experimental finish. Where did you find this one at? Um, it was in Thousand Oaks. Thousand Oaks. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so I have these in my collection as well, uh, but I have not yet opened them. I, I have limited space here and a closet full of uh, bourbons. So we wanted to go ahead and do an Ambarana finished whiskey. All of these are wheat whiskeys too, I believe, right? Um, I am not sure. I don't believe this one is a wheat whiskey. I don't believe... That's MGP juice in that one. So I am not too sure on that. All right. Well, the wheat and spire, the wheat whiskeys, when they're combined with the Ambarana is amazing. It almost mm -hmm. tastes like a French toast. Yeah. Right? Cinnamon or cinnamon toast, toast crunch yeah. Yeah. cereal. So hopefully we could figure out which one's which in this one. Once again, uh, I had my wife go ahead and do a blind for us. We knew what whiskeys were going to be in this one. Unfortunately, it was a little bit double blind for Lewis last yeah. time. Um, but she got, she went ahead and, and, and poured them all for us and put it in an envelope. We'll find out at the end of this video what is on the table. All right. So once again, we're going to start off nosing all of them all the way across. Then we'll go back and we'll nose it and taste it. And we'll kind of give our guesses at that point. And then we'll talk about the bottles a little bit more again. All right, let's go ahead and get started. First with A again. Oh, so much cinnamon. Yeah, that Ambarana really does give a, a smell of like cinnamon, um, hmm. like cinnamon bread, almost like yeah. a cinnamon, like the cinnamon raisin bar uh, oh, yeah. bagels, bagels, you know? Yeah. I personally like Ambarana finish a lot. It's really good. Yeah, we, we even got some Ambarana sticks um, from one of our Etsy um, sellers and started adding it to other things. Um, you added yours to an early times. Early right? times, and yeah. it, it came out really good. Yeah. It was 100 proof, but it, it balanced real good with it, and it came out fantastic. And I got a 10 grain uh, white dog that I added it to that came out amazing. All right, let's go ahead and give a smell on B. Wow, it's hard. It's hard to tell the difference from yeah. That that Ambarana really does take over on the nose. There is a slight. This one was a slight difference yeah. compared to the last two. This one has a little bit more of a, a bourbon smell to it. Faint, faint Ambarana. I haven't cracked into the Fiddlers just yet. But mm -hmm. I would almost say that last one had a little bit more of that Fiddler's smell to it. Mm, it's, it's super close. Yeah, <laughs> All of them like I say, are, are overtaken by the Ambarana. Yeah. Um, now the taste is where it's going to really matter. So okay. let's go ahead and start with A. Yep. A. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. Mm. Like I said, <laughs> cinnamon... Cinnamon. <laughs> I mean, so uh, Ambarana has a taste of its own, mm -hmm. but it does give a, a slight cinnamon, but not like a classic cinnamon that you would find no. in most bourbons. Not like a spice cinnamon. No. But more like a, like I said, like a cinnamon bread. It, it, it is, it is definitely unique. 
I think the very first Ombrana we had was that the, the weed, weed spire. Yep, this one right here. Yeah. Um, I, once I tried it, I fell in love. Yeah, I love. I loved it a lot. Yeah. Let's go ahead and give number two a smell and taste. This one does definitely after having a taste of that one has a different smell to it. It does. Different, different finish on it, a little bit. Not as much umbrella. That one was more. Um, I like, I like going back and forth on it. This one has a little bit of a sweeter smell. This one has a little bit more of that, um, almost like an uh, expo marker. And I don't mean that in a bad mm, way, yeah, but the- I, I can get that a little bit. But it has that slight alcohol smell, slight. All right, last one. Definitely a different nose on this after drinking yeah. those two. Yeah, definitely. Like before, they were all so very yeah. similar. But the moment you have a taste of one of them, the Oval Factories open up, you have a little bit of that, that whiskey on the palate. It really changes the sense of smell. Mm. Mm. That one's different. Yeah. First, I thought for sure that was the Wheaton Spire, just because we've had it before. Mm -hmm. But now, I think it's this one. Only because you get a little bit more, I don't know, like a um, grainy smell. Like, you, you can tell that it's kind of a newer make. Um, I don't know that for sure. This one says aged two months on in, the new loop yeah in the ombrana in the ombrana yes yeah um this one it doesn't have a statement of when it how long it was finished in there and neither does this one. let me see yeah nothing really stated on the bottle now with that being said we've had <laughs> Quite a bit of the oak and Eden. Yeah. Uh, the bottle's almost a bottle kill. Uh, luckily, we have a couple of them and, and back up. So I think that is your only one. No, I got two. You got two. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. why I wasn't afraid to kill yeah. this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, yeah, so we got two each. Yep. That's what it was, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, I think you guys could catch my video that I first put out, kind of talking about how we brought them back from Missouri. Um, it's very easy. You could get the supplies from Amazon. Um, but yeah. Let's go back. I'm going to go back. Yeah. C to A. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very, very good smell. Mm -hmm. Once again, the Ambarana is <laughs> forefront on yeah. any of these. It, it, if you've never had Ambarana, please try yeah. one of these or even a different whiskey that's mm -hmm. been finished in Ambarana. They're amazing. Um, the finish stays with this one. A yeah. Lot. Yeah. Um, and like I said, that taste of cinnamon toast crunch or, or, you know, French bread, uh, mm -hmm. French, French toast. Yeah, French toast. French toast really comes out. Like you get sweetness, you get cinnamon, you get breadiness. Um, like I said, I think that, that one's going to be our Oak and Eden. Mm. A little bit more sharpness on this one. Yes, definitely. I got that pretty. Yeah, too. A, li a little bit of um, tannicky. Don't know which one it could be. Like <laughs> I said, haven't had the fiddlers. 
Um, so I don't know. We'll have to come back on this one. Yeah. Okay, this is my guess. This is the Wheat Inspire for me. Okay. The Fiddlers. And this is going to be the new Lou. Okay. Like I said, at a little disadvantage because yeah. uh, I haven't, haven't <laughs> cracked open the, yeah. the Fiddlers. Um, like I said, I think that this one for me is going to be the Oak and, Oak and Eden's Wheat Inspire. So I'm, I'm saying C, he's saying A. Mm-hmm. I really don't have a guess between the two of these ones just because I, I I am a little bit of a handicap. But um, I would almost say you said B was going to be new Lou. New Lou. And I think I'm going to agree. It has a little bit of that that new Lou taste mm -hmm. on it. And, and just out of, you know, l elimination, I'll say this is Fiddler. So I, I'm going to have these two flip-flop. Mm -hmm. uh, from Lewis, and then we'll go ahead and see what we got. Yep. All right. Let's check it out. A. Fiddlers. Fiddlers. Dang. C. Oak and Eden. And B. Nulu. Dang. So I got them right. Yeah. But like I said, there, there was truly a, a guess for me between these two. I, I did feel that this was Oak and Eden just because I've had Oak and Eden before. Yeah. I um, thought I thought this had a little bit higher proof. That's why I kind of went with it. But yeah, I can I can see it a little bit. Yeah. So uh, I mean, uh, th this was just lucky guess. I, I I did have a little bit of taste of what we have on other Nulu products. So that, that's why I kind of went with Nulu on this one. And then Fiddler was out of elimination. Um, great bottles, all of them. That like Fantastic. I said, the Ambarana finish really, I mean, takes over. Uh, you, it is a unique taste. So if you yeah. haven't had that type of a finished bourbon before, maybe you've had sherry, maybe you've had rum casks, mm -hmm. um, maybe you've had double oat, right? Um, if you like those type of finished whiskeys, go ahead and give this one a try. Yeah, definitely. it is definitely unique. You will fall in love. I know you will. Um, with that being said, though, you may have one and the other, and then there's not very much. Uh, difference between the two yeah. the ambarana really does take over yes um so take that with a with what uh a grain of salt with what we're saying here is if you add one of the ambarana finishes you'll yeah. basically know what you're going to get with the other ones yeah. they'll have a slight difference based off of the juice that they are finished with or the the, the juice that's been put in there to finish with but uh overall it, it's going to have that overpowering Ambrana finish. So let's bring down the bottles. All right. So, like I said, the Oak and Eden's Wheat Inspire. We got that at On the Rocks in Fulton, Missouri. Great store pick. The finish of the wood was chosen by them. Um, it was a great pick. We were able to taste it in the liquor store, and uh, that gave us everything we needed to know right then. We got one bottle each. And then uh, we regretted for leaving one with only one <laughs> bottle. Yeah. So I went back for another and then went back for another. Um, so it, it was a great pick. Um, Fiddlers. This one was, we got it from online. Um, we looked up online trying to find out more about Fiddlers Georgia Hartwood, um, which we have right here. So this was actually a recommendation from uh, your drinking buddy, right? Yeah. yeah. So drinking buddy, uh, said, you know, you should try this one. So we went out to total wine and more and we grabbed a bottle. We loved it. And after that, we got a couple more. Now I think we have <laughs> five in total. <laughs> three. He has three. Yeah, I have, I have, I have three and he has two. Um, so then we heard that there was an Ambarana finish as well. So I went and I picked up two bottles of it. And uh, ended up giving one to Lewis. Then he was down in Thousand Oaks. Um, you were on the job, I think, yeah, right? And uh -huh. was on a lunch break. He went inside one of the stores out there, looked up uh, at the shelves, and he saw this new Lou 
with the umber on a finish. Yep. And he called me up right away and said, Hey uncle, you want to get a bottle? I'm like, yeah, I do. Give me two. Yeah. So, pick up, uh, pick up four of those. Yeah, we got four of those that day. <laughs> so, um, we definitely like our Umbrana finishes. We definitely like them with the wheat whiskey too. Mm -hmm. The the wheat bourbon gives it a, a very, I would say, crushable. It's yeah. sweet, sweet, smooth. That, yeah, smooth, and it really does taste like cinnamon toast crunch mm -hmm. cereal. Mm -hmm. um, if, if you ever had the the milk after you've had the cereal, that's kind of what it tastes like. Yep. Um, the finish is obviously um, richer more oily stays yeah. on the palate um but with that being said I, I think that the new lou had the longest finish out of all of them um and the fiddler was was by no means a slouch no, um nope. and i think yeah, that we kind really of went hard. back and forth between the two of yeah. us right um but uh, i ended up choosing the oak and eden yeah um and then the fiddlers being uh, a, just because they have so similar of tastes, mm -hmm. and this one had a very unique taste to, to Nilu products. So, with that being said, um, I would recommend every one of them. Every one. Yeah, I mean, if you could find them in your area, please take a chance, grab one, try it have out, a, yeah, have a try. You'll love it. And if you cannot, um, like I said, you go on Etsy. Uh, get some Ambarana finishing staves, add it to one of your favorite bourbons or one of your, your um, lower-end bourbons to mm -hmm. try and give it a, a taste of what it could be like. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks, everybody. Once again, thank you for joining us, and I hope you subscribe and give us uh, a chance to bring you more videos. Thank you.